Nigga play with us, they don't know about em. Every nigga that I chill with got a body Every nigga that I chill with got a body Ain't your mans got whack, you still say they shot Smoking on a new pack, another dead eye Ain't your mans got whack, you still say they shot Smoking on a new pack, another dead eye Niggas talking that tough shit, I line them up I had your body so what, they can't find you bro He was talking all that rah-rah, got him wet in traffic Smoking on new op, that's just one of my bad habits He was talking all that rah-rah, got him wet in traffic Smoking on new op, that's just one of my bad habits We begin tonight with the resonating sound of gunfire. You're looking at dash cam video recorded in Southwest Miami Dade where someone opened fire on another car. New details on a shooting in South Miami that we brought you last night. Miami Dade police now confirming the identity of the victim. 28 year old Chandler Boobin, also known as Wavy Navy Pooh, a Miami based rapper. In this video, we're going to be talking about a man that's merciless to his enemies. If you get in his way, he's going to take you out, no matter who you are. The subject of today's video is Miami rapper Fred Rari, and today we're going to be telling his story. But before we get into the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Fred Rari, whose real name is Ephraim Fitzpatrick, is from the infamous Pork and Beans Projects in Miami. He met Atlanta rapper YFN Luchu two years before he even started rapping and signed with YFN. He also inked a record deal with Epic Records. He had a traumatic upbringing as he grew up in foster care. As a result of his upbringing, Fred Rari would jump off the porch at just 14 years old. At just 15 years old, Fred Rari was already facing murder charges. He would spend nearly three years in the Dade County Jail fighting the case until his charges were dismissed due to a lack of evidence. The main witness in the case was a man named Demetrius Jones. He was facing murder charges of his own, however he was able to beat them and was released. Nevertheless, due to having murder charges, Demetrius wasn't seen by prosecutors as a reliable witness so the case couldn't move forward. However, that wouldn't stop Fred Rari from allegedly gunning him down. On March 3rd, 2013, Demetrius was walking down 63rd Street and 18th Avenue when a Nissan Maxima pulled up next to him and slowed down. Police say the driver's side rear window lowered and Fred Rari opened fire with an AK-47. Then Fred and another shooter allegedly got out of the vehicle, stood over Demetrius, and continued to open fire. When officers arrived on the scene, they saw that Demetrius had been shot multiple times in the torso, face, neck, and legs. Fourteen assault rifle casings were also recovered at the scene. Police say witnesses on the scene positively identified Fred Rari as the shooter. After the murder of Demetrius Jones, prosecutors were able to find another witness that was able to identify Fred Rari as the shooter. That person's name was Larry Modest, and the police were confident that his testimony would be enough to bring Fred Rari down. However, Larry would be found shot to death execution style in a street corner shortly after this. No one knows whether or not Fred Rari was the shooter, but he would have plenty of incentives to do so. With the key witness now dead, Fred Rari was able to beat another murder case. Fred Rari and fellow Miami rapper Wavy Navy Pooh have been beefing for years. Their beef would escalate on social media when Fred posted a video of himself at a corner store near the Pork and Beans Projects. Wavy would then pull up to the store and post a video of himself there asking where Fred was at. Piss me the fuck off, nigga. Huh? See where the fuck I'm at, nigga. Huh? Huh? Man. Where we at, man? Where we at, man? Hey, man, we right on that street, man. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. To the oh, neck of my, to the my hood. Show me where we living like. You already know where we at with it. Where y'all flossing ass niggas at, man? You already know, man. Sub shit, no scrub shit, man. You heard me. Excuse me, poor ass nigga. You already know how we be smoking good, good tongue ski tonight, man. Where y'all niggas at, man? Stop flogging for the brand, man. Y'all fuck ass niggas, man. 
with it. What's up, nigga? Hey, what's up, nigga? Hey, fuck, nigga. Yo, let them know. What Fred at? What Fred at? What TK at? What CP3 at? Where them niggas at, man? Yeah, you're crazy, baby. Where y'all niggas at, man? We out here. Yeah. Yeah, man. Now you got the nigga Wavy Navy dick chasing. Wavy Navy, man. Sit your fat, poor ass down, nigga. You already know what's up there with me and you, nigga. Why you chop chasing, nigga? Why you putting that in the eye like that, bro? You already know what's up. Always been up there. Nigga, you don't even... Nigga, nigga only seen you one time, bitch ass, nigga. Fuck wrong, train. You got your ass splatting in your mouth, nigga. Talk about you. It, it been up there. Fuck ass, nigga. I don't, I don't know you niggas, man. That's why I'm coming at y'all. Fuck niggas. Like, I don't know y'all bitch ass niggas, man. Soft ass, bitch ass, green ass, hoe ass niggas, man. Fuck wrong with you niggas, man. You understand me? Excuse me, nigga. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. Pick your dog up, nigga. Fuck me, nigga. And you act like you ain't know a nigga. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. I wasn't supposed to pop off, nigga. Y'all two, three hundred deep, nigga. You still got splat. Fuck wrong with you, bitch ass. Shortly after this, one of Fred Rye's associates named TK would be shot and killed and Wavy would diss him in songs and on social media. However, months after this incident, Wavy Navy Pooh would be shot and killed in his car while driving home from the zoo with his family. The 28-year-old rapper whose real name was Chandler Bubin was stopped at a light when a car pulled alongside and someone inside opened fire. A nearby car captured the incident on their dash cam, and automatic gunfire coming from most likely a gun with a switch can be heard, followed by shots most likely from an assault rifle. Over 80 shell casings were found at the scene as the bullets were unleashed upon the car. Wavy's girl and his two children, aged 1 and 5, were also in the car at the time of this incident. However, by the grace of God, none of them were hit. Wavy was tragically declared dead on the scene, and shortly after this, Fred Rory and his associates would proceed to diss Wavy on social media. Fred posted a video on Instagram mentioning smoking an op and getting him whacked in traffic. It's crazy how wild Fred Rory's life has been. From catching murder charges at just 15, to every witness in his cases being killed, he seems like an individual whose bad side you never want to be on. Let me know what you guys think of this situation in the comment section and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.